Okay, this video is in regards to a 2000 GTX 787 Rotax fuel injection two-stroke. I got this broken, put a rebuilt motor in it. I got one season out of it in six seasons. Had nothing but issues from the date of the new motor install. The reason for a new motor was the it had cracked jugs, so I just got a new motor. I had issues with rotary timing, ro rotary valve timing being off. Figured that out. Had issues with a wiring harness that had three little nicks in it, and those little nicks exposed the copper wiring, which then corroded the lines all the way from the. ECU to the components the ECU talks to. After tons of troubleshooting, figured that out. Finally got it riding for one season. Drove okay. I, the only thing I never did was reset the TPS. On these throttle body fuel injected, or on these fuel injected jet skis, they have a throttle body versus carburetors. Okay, so the TPS, which is the throttle positioning sensor, needs to be reset when you remove the throttle cable or do any adjustments with that system. You gotta take it to a dealer, you can't do it yourself unless you have the bombardier tool. Now, I believe the inner seals are shot. And this is the way I remove oil and gas from the cylinders when you have a hydro-locked engine. Once you get it running once, you need to clamp the hose. I actually put a shutoff valve on the oil line going to the oil pump. What I did was drill out two spark plugs, which was extremely time consuming. Drilled them out, ground off the, um, what do you say, uh, the nut that are on them. Got some tubing, connected them to wine bottles. And then I, sure, you always have to make sure you either pinch off or shut off your shut off oil shut off valve if you have an oil shut off valve or to pinch the lines. And then ground your uh, ground your spark plug cables. Take the spark plugs out. Put your apparatus in. You could use a compression testing fitting. do with mine. I have one somewhere. Oh, here it is. Could do this, but it doesn't give you enough um, your engine is still compressing. So it doesn't work the best, but it does work. This is an extremely messy process if you don't do it this way. A rag? Ha! Huh. Okay, so then you, know, you got it on. Here we go. You hear the, the fuel pump engaging, putting gas into the fuel rail.
have to keep doing this until nothing's coming out. Then you have to put in a plug and then just do one and then vice versa. After you try and clear that out, put a plug on this side, or sorry, put a plug on this side, put your little apparatus on this side, and keep doing it until you are confident you can put both, part, both spark plugs back in and the jet ski will turn over. Otherwise it will not turn over and you have to continuously take these off, bring them out, and put back um, the plugs. It's a pain in the butt. So this is my way and then once it gets started you keep it running on the hose for as long as you can so you can get to the lake. <laughs> 